The Thin Slides Edgy Protocol was a creation from Steve McGriff, and this is one of his slides explaining the workflow of how to use Thin Slides in your class. Now, you would start out with the students either working individually or even in pairs, and they're going to open up a shared Google Slide Deck. And I'm going to show you a sample template Google Slide Deck in just one moment. Um, and what students are going to do is they're going to each find a slide and claim that slide. Now, in this case, in the slides that I have here, you will see that there is a, a topic. So this would be kind of like the prompt for students on slide number one. And it lets students know that they're going to each need one slide that includes one picture and one word. There are instructions on the next slide for students. And then each slide is basically a blank slide. And you'll see that it has a number up at the top. Now, in my classroom, I would assign students a Chromebook to check out. So each of my students had a number. So students know their number, and they would just happen to go to that particular slide. Now, instead of numbers, you could always just have a text box and like put name next to it and tell students to go to that um, find an empty slide and put their name in it. Or if you are having students work in pairs, let's say in breakout rooms, you could always put like room one, room two, room three, and then the students will know which slide to go to. And the slide is basically blank with just a text box for the students to add their word. Now, so students have chosen their slide. They are going to look at the prompt and they are going to find one image that they can find that represents the prompt or the main idea. Then students are going to write one word. So a word, and it could be a small short phrase, but nothing that will extend beyond their text box. And I don't want them to change the font size, anything like that, but it could be a small short phrase, but basically one word. Then the students can design their slide and um, maybe they could rearrange things or make it look a little nicer. Um, sometimes students add animated GIFs for their image, which is totally fine. Um, but then students are going to present. And here it says present 8 to 12 seconds each student. And so each student will just go through and present their slide once it's showing up on the teacher screen. And this can be done in multiple different ways. You could have it as a exit ticket. You could have it at the beginning of class to see what students know about a particular topic. You could also use it for a summative assessment where students have to add a little bit more to it and have definitely more than 8 to 12 seconds to talk about it. But maybe you have students explain a concept and their idea is maybe they're making a explanatory model for the science phenomena that they're studying. And they have to talk about it for two minutes, incorporating all of the different topics. Now, two minutes, students wouldn't be able to present in class altogether, but you could always have students present their thin slide in something like Flipgrid using a screencast, and then students can watch each other's Flipgrids and leave comments on them. But that's the general idea of how to do thin slides. And um, it's a lot of fun and it can be used in so many different ways in the class. When students are thinking about what they're gonna say for their presentation, I a lot of times ask them to write down their notes or write down a script of what they wanna say in the comments below. Now, when you're projecting the screen, um, students won't necessarily see their notes unless they have their own device in front of them still at the time when they're presenting, but I like students to organize their thoughts, and I don't want them, again, to read their notes word for word, but they can have that kind of planned out in advance in the notes section down at the bottom of the slides, and they can raise that up or lower that for their slide as they are writing. Here's a sample of the first thin slides I did with my sophomore AVID students. They had just taken the PSAT for the very first time, and so I gave them the prompt of the PSAT and how they felt from the PSAT. So these are just some samples 
um, to give you an idea. And this was just a quick one. Students only had a very short amount of time to do this. And then they just said a sentence when we went around and were presenting to the class.